What's going on, everybody? My name is Ian Robinson, and I'm with Max on I'm the lead ZBrush trainer. And today we are here at Dell Technologies, and we're showcasing how ZBrush and Dell communicate with each other really, really well. One of the things that I really love about the Dell computers is that ZBrush is CPU based, and they have one of the fastest, and they also have one of the most intuitive CPUs that really just helps connect with everything. And it just makes my experience in ZBrush as an artist flawless and smooth. As I navigate around and as I just want to create, there's just no limitations to the idea of what I can do in here. And Dell just really helps me connect. So as you can see here, when we're looking in ZBrush, a lot of the stuff when I come in and hit B for my brush palette, I actually have a ton of options that I can come through and select. And I can really just come in here and just start sculpting. You can see I'm actually sculpting with color, but we can always just control Z back. We can turn that off. We just come up here to RGB, turn that off. And you can just see here that I'm just coming through and I'm just applying a layer of plate. Now, this, this mesh might look a little triangulated, and that's because we're actually going with a lower topology. And the reason for that is because we're gonna be kicking this model over to Cinema 4D, and we're gonna be doing a final render within a Gothic architecture scene inside of, inside of uh, Cinema 4D and Redshift. What's really cool about this, again, is just we really get the ability to create quickly select brushes on the fly and start making changes. And again, as I navigate, it's just a smooth experience. I could just come in here and I could just start playing around. So as an artist, it really helps me create, helps me navigate, and it just really just, just makes everything just a flawless experience.